Adding context and organization to what you're doing can help so much. Perhaps adding all of your thoughts on a certain subject to a separate well would be more fitting, but you don't want to lose it in your navigation bar. Or maybe you need a reminder that a certain section with some very important information still exists. <laughs> that is why adding relevant links to walls and sections within your bricks can be a lifesaver. For example, we have this wall here dedicated to our campaign. Uh, the core parts are broken down by section. We get our brief and our ideas and notes, our tasks, our files and references. Within this wall's ideas and notes section, we have a Kanban view providing some overview of the project. We've got a column dedicated to PR, except you've got a lot of ideas for PR and it kind of goes beyond the minimal nature of this Kanban view. So instead of having a massive PR column while the rest of our columns are otherwise short, uh, we can dedicate an entire additional wall to those ideas and notes for PR formatted with multiple sections to, to your liking. So as you can see here, we have a press ideas and notes uh, wall, which is broken down to press release notes and measuring performance notes. And instead of leaving this additional wall, um, just in our navigation bar, making it a little harder for us to understand the context and relevance of this wall and its importance to the campaign, um, we can actually create a link to this wall and add it to one of the bricks where it's most relevant. So to do this, you just go into the wall options and click copy link to wall. Then we can go back to our campaign and we can add it somewhere where we think it's best fitting. Now I think it would be great right here. I can paste that and it creates the link for us right there. That way, when either you or your team are reviewing the project, um, you can see by this link that there's actually quite a bit more to your press ideas and notes that reaches beyond the Kanban column for PR. And so then you can click on it and it'll take you directly to the wall with everything that you need to see. All that without even having to like reference the navigation bar. Furthermore, this can be done with just sections too. Um, so if we go into the options of our measure performance section, we can actually copy the link to the section as well, go back to our campaign, and we can add that link the same way we did with the wall to somewhere where we find it most relevant. In this case, we actually have a brick here talking about tracking performance. So I'm going to add the link right there. And there we go. And now that we have the section link there, we can click on it and it'll take us directly to the section that we are linking to. And not only that, but it actually does auto scroll us to the spot where that section is on the wall. Now we can even create a link to a section within the same wall that we're linking to. Um, so if we take the tasks section, for example, here, we can go into the options and copy the link to the section and we can add that task tasks link anywhere we think it best fits. Um, so we can actually add it right here to the launch targets and then we have a link to our tasks. We click that, it takes us right down to tasks. Along with that, there are multiple ways that you can format your links. Um, this text right here can actually be removed altogether, so it is just the button. The button features your cover image, if you have one, and the icon you picked for your wall. We can actually hide the wall preview to show just the um, wall or section tech title, as well as the um, walls icon. Adding these links to the walls and sections that are relevant to what you're talking about within a certain brick. It enhances the context of your work and encourages a natural hierarchy to your walls, sections, and navigation organization. Instead of having all of your walls plainly listed in your navigation bar, you can have folders and subfolders to organize and clearly show the relevance of walls to one another within your navigation bar. As you can see here, I've got a projects folder, um, and then within that I have a project folder just for the XYZ project, which houses both the campaign wall and the press ideas and notes wall. Um, and that's all together in one piece. So I can just pull that down. And I already have been creating um, some links here to the other pieces that I might need to be referencing when going through this wall that I can easily get to by just using the links that we created. When you rely more upon linking to walls and sections within your bricks, the less important seeing all of your walls in your navigation bar becomes. And lastly, with walls and section links, you can actually link to your walling work even outside of walling in things such as Asana. Say one of your team members or stakeholders is using Asana to manage their side of the project, uh, you can add a link to your wall directly within Asana. So we just go to our press ideas and notes wall, we can copy the link to the wall, go back to Asana, go into the task that we want to add our link to, go into their description and paste it right there. Therefore, allowing your team member direct access to the important information that you've put together for them regarding the project right within Asana. 
I hope this was helpful for you in uh, how to add relevant links to within your bricks and also helps you create more practical and organized navigation within your walls. Until next time, have a good one.